Today I'm reviewing these WRN RN 15 by 25 binoculars. I was sent these binoculars for free to review as part of the Amazon Vine review program. So they have not paid me for what I'm saying. They have no control, editorial control over what I say. So these are my opinions. But keep in mind, I did not pay for these binoculars. So they only cost me zero dollars and that might color my view of them. Now, if you were to purchase these binoculars, they're normally $39. I saw a 30% coupon, so they're $29, so it's basically a $30 pair of binoculars. All right, I've been trying these out for a while, and I'm generally pretty happy with them. I have one caveat, which I'll get to later, which might be a deal breaker for you. Um, so they're lightweight. They're like eight and a half ounces. They include a token neck strap. It's um, nylon cloth and it's pretty thin. It's not uncomfortable just because these guys are pretty lightweight, but I wouldn't want to hike around with it banging around a lot. Um, but they do include the belt case, which is all synthetic material, but it's perfectly serviceable to hold this thing on your belt, and given the lightweight, it'd be very easy to go hiking with these on a belt, and you pretty much wouldn't notice them. Um, they have three adjustments, so you have your interpupular distance, so you can adjust how far apart your eyes are until you get a perfect circle. Um, and then you have the master focus, which focuses both of them. And I was really impressed. This is nice and smooth and easy to turn, um, and it focuses really easily. And if your eyes, like mine, for example, have different focuses because you have different prescriptions in left and right eye, um, you can adjust the right eye separately from the left eye to get them both in focus at the same time, and then you can do this. So with this, I'm able to use these without my glasses because I'm using the optics in here as you know the correction for my eyes so I can get things in focus with this. Or I can put my glasses on and wear them with my glasses. Um, so the cups here fold down and if you fold down those cups it's very easy to get close enough to your glasses um, to have a good view. So you can use them without taking your glasses off or you can use them um, you know take your glasses off and adjust these to be focused for your prescription. Um, so image wise, pretty happy with that. It's bright, it's good quality. I haven't noticed like major chromatic aberrations or you know horrible aberrations. Um, they're very functional as binoculars. Um, small, lightweight. They do not include covers for the front lenses, but if you're setting them down on a table, that would be fine. If you're keeping them in a case, that's fine. They do include uh, lens covers for these backs, so if you're leaving them out on a cable, you can put those on to keep dust off of it. So the exit diameter, the pupil exit diameter is approximately three millimeters. I found it perfectly comfortable. Now, here's my big gripe. It has to do with the specifications. These guys claim to be 15x magnification with 25 millimeter aperture. Um, so, you know, the 25 millimeter diameter on the aperture, that's true. Um, it is basically a one inch lens down there. Now, the problem is I do not believe these are actually 15x magnification. Um, you know, I was looking around, I was like, wow, these are really bright for having that much magnification. Um, and then the field of view looked quite big as well for that much magnification. So in the house at 21 feet, I have a two foot field of view, which is about a ratio of 10 to 10.8. Um, and you should be getting about, you know, eight point something or, you know, so it didn't quite, the math didn't quite line up there. So I decided to compare them to these guys which are variable zoom, but I have them set at the 10, the lowest setting. So, you know, these are 10x magnification to 30x magnification. And by holding one of these to each eye, I could observe the same thing at the same time and kind of overlay them and compare the sizes. And this guy here was giving me slightly smaller sizes than this guy, even at 10x. Um, so my guess, my best guess is these are actually 8x magnification binoculars. Maybe they're 10x magnification, um, but they're certainly not 15x magnification. Now, that may be a deal breaker. If you're looking for 15x magnification with super small, you know, one inch aperture, um, you're going to have to spend a lot more money with a name brand. Now, that being said, for binoculars this size, I think that 8x magnification is more appropriate for the normal use case. Um, you know, so this is great for sporting events, so you go hiking, you're looking for birds, you have a wide field of view, you have a decent magnification. 
Um, you know, so these are a great pair of binoculars for just general around the house type binocular usage. Now, if you're looking for higher power for specialized activities, um, you're probably going to be buying something with a larger aperture that's a lot heavier as well. You know, so this has a 50 millimeter aperture and they weigh a lot more. So, you know, these are going to be much easier to take on a hike than these guys. Um, so that's the only major complaint I have is that they don't actually match the specifications that they're being advertised as. Other than that, you know, if you take them as, hey, small, lightweight, 8x magnification binoculars, they do a good job. Um, you know, I can certainly see this as a small binocular take hiking, something you give your kids to play with. Um, you know, in the $30 to $40 price range, you don't mind too much if they break it. All right, it pains me a little bit to do this, but if you're giving these to your kids and they're playing with them, they're going to be dropping them sometimes. So there's my drop test, and they passed the drop test from, you know, five, six feet onto a concrete floor at least one time. Um, but I do wish people would, you know, not sell things with <laughs> specifications that aren't true.